Greetings, welcome back to Pink Oddbird. Today what I'm here with is the May Music Vault video and I'm super excited to share this one with you. I love it so much I wanted to keep it for myself. It's a song you guys are all probably really familiar with. It is called Black Hole Sun by a group called, or I'm sorry, it's a band called Soundgarden and the lead singer of that band is the late Chris Cornell and it's one year now since he's um, not been with us anymore unfortunately and I thought that choosing that song this month which marks the one year anniversary for him uh, was the perfect timing to make this book. Let's go ahead and take a look. So I've always loved this song since way 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 back in the day when MTV actually used to play music videos on their channel. I remember coming home one day from school and I saw this video on TV and I was like oh my gosh what is this? It's crazy, it's like dark, it's bright, there's flowers, there's darkness, it's surreal. Um, there's so many different elements and moving parts of this video and song and that's why I chose that that theme for this month's video and I wanted to try and replicate that in this book. So there will be a lot of like surrealism and I use like magazine pieces to try and add to that effect in this book and is the juxtaposition of darkness and light in this video because the song is meant to be dark. Um, and so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So on the front cover, what you'll notice is I've just left it mostly plain because I wanted it to simply have this um, fork pendant on it. And I ordered this from a gal on Etsy. She hand makes these. I thought this would be the perfect cover because Chris is known in this particular video um, to be wearing this fork necklace. And he's been obviously photographed in other places wearing it. But it was given to him as a gift by the, the lead singer of Blind Melon. And so... Um, I thought that that would be a good representation for this book um, to start with and then I'll show you what else I had in mind as we go through. So it's a soft cover, the, the it's just black velvet, I made an elastic closure. Um, in the end I will go back to this closure and uh, for now let's go ahead and get into the book. So I just did some rustic uh, sewing of this velvet cover here on the inside. I didn't want it to be perfect because, I mean, after all, it is grunge. Here I have the opening line of the song. I just made a little tag and I wrote in my eyes and disposed and clipped out some eyes. I thought that would be a fun way to start out the, the intro of this book. A little lyric from the song. Um, he does reference snakes in the song uh, a few times, so I put in the snake paper to represent that. I had some random stickers. I wanted everything to be kind of like whimsical slash surreal for this book because it's got that feel and tone to it. There is a girl who's eating ice cream in the video, um, so that's why I put that in here. And then one of the lyrics that he says is, um, well, this is the, this is obviously an eclipse, but it's uh, going to be the representation of the black hole sun. Um, he says, um, he's got a lyric in there about uh, disguises that no one knows so I found this little book page that I had with these bugs on it and so I just made a little tag pocket for that uh, but I thought it was perfect because it's talking about disguises and then here we've got faces because you know he's talking about all those different kinds of things in the song um, I will just in a blanket statement say thank you to Shayna because a lot of the items in this book came from her so thank you very much Shayna and unfortunately this one won't be listed up because it is already spoken for um, so <laughs> sorry and I really wanted to keep it but you know I'm happy to have it be going to someone who loves the song and the theme as much as myself so here I use some Tim Holtz distress crayons and I just drew out this um, snake as you know it's meant to be like grungy and stuff but um, the, the lyric is hides the face lies the snake and so I had this little stamp and it's kind of interesting to me that he has like a snake body and then I just used the ribbon to hide his face so um, I felt like that went pretty well uh, the shears are in here because there's a lot of people manicuring their yards in the video the little belly band So this piece is a representation of another lyric in the song. And so on this side, the night sky is a little bit lighter than on this side. If you flip this uh, velvet up here, you've got the dark sky. So I thought that was pretty neat to put in. One of those magazine pieces. They feel really neat. I just put a, a, a piece of um, book page on the back and gessoed over it. 
There are some bugs. I think it's a group of locusts in the video, but that's what this page is meant to represent, those uh, bugs. <laughs> we have the night sky here. There's a lady putting on some crazy lipstick in the video, so I threw that in there. And then again, we have the eyes. Little bag here. Another one of the notable characters in the video is the Great Dane, so there he is. And then I just fashioned out a little book page pocket, which I thought was pretty cute. Little heart doily. <laughs> so this is one of those like whimsical pieces. It's a trick to spice up your soup a little, but um, it's one of those old magazine pieces I backed on co coffee paper. But the tip is add a hot dog to your soup. So next time you're hungry, <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> so I wanted to incorporate a lot of lips in this video, or I'm sorry, in this book, because in the video there are some crazy mouths happening. So um, <laughs> I thought adding the lips in would be appropriate. So here we have three tuck spots. We've got little journaling cards here. We've got some more lips here. And then um, this little let the music play, which I thought was pretty fitting. So a little flip out here. Again, I wanted to incorporate a lot of flowers because A, they are sound garden, and B, because there are tons of flowers in the video. It's the bright element um, that I'm typically referring to. So again, um, the neighborhood that this video takes place in is a bunch of like picturesque families where everything's happy, smiling, we're happy, smiling, fake, you know, kind of unrealistic, and then they get sucked into oblivion. So I wanted to incorporate a lot of these like picturesque kind of like images and, you know, the well-dressed stuff to to add to that part of the, the vibe of the video. Some scraps here. Here I made a tag. And it's housing another little tag. <laughs> and then I just... Um, collage some music paper on there, some bling here, um, and I did a little bit of stitching on it. I really enjoy doing is this crazy kind of doodling where it looks kind of like weird doodling. Like if you were just to look at this, you'd be like, oh, there's some cool doodling. But if you really look at it, they're actually words. So there you can see it's scream, and here you can see it's cream. Um, that's just something that I love to do. I pretty much have always loved doing that because it's kind of interesting, and one probably wouldn't notice it unless they're really sitting there looking at it to to see, <laughs> to see it, you know, so, all right, so in the video, there's a fish, and the lady with the crazy mouth is getting ready to, she's got a butcher knife, and she's like hovering it over the fish, and so um, that's what the fish and the knife represent, and the fish does get away, if anyone is wondering, <laughs> little music, um, this is one of those uh, book page pockets that Dolly did a tutorial for on her channel and so I just added in some of these little library cards because they have the flowers on them and that's a, again another representational piece of the video so that tucks uh, back here and then she's also a little tuck spot if if you want her to be so this tag I really love up here, this was just a magazine page. It says, life is what you, and I cut off whatever it was over here. So I just wrote in the word dream. And then as you can see in the scape here, it's raining and she's got an umbrella. And of course, one of the lyrics is wash away the rain. Um, I got this super cool like textured paper from Gracie Beachbum. And so I thought it kind of looked like raindrops. So I thought that would be perfect. And then I just added the butterflies over her face to give it that surreal look. And then I have this little embossed piece that I got from Kim, and I don't know if you can see this, but I used Inca Gold to find letters in this um, little piece that spelled out rain, and I did find all of the letters, and so um, the word rain is highlighted here. And if you don't know, rain is like my favorite thing ever. <laughs> so here's another uh, fiery sun, little floral tag because flowers. Um, I just put this in here because it's a really neat piece from a book that I have, but it's talking about this, <laughs> and um, it's got like some interesting like imagery on there about the sun and the moon, and then it has this really neat drawing, um, and I just thought this would make some, for some really neat um, reading in this book in particular, since we are talking about um, sort of like space, I guess. 
So the end is nigh. There are religious undertones in this video if you've seen it. Um, and Chris has some interesting takes on religion as well, which you can read all about him and any of the other information that I mentioned in the description box below. You can find everything there. But I put this one and I stamped the end is nigh on here. And then this just a little scrap her Melinda tag that I made. But um, I did want to add that in here. And then there's the other piece of that book page, which is super pretty. A little, um, I have a tiny garden book that I found. <laughs> so I just added some of that in there. So here I wrote one of the quotes um, that he, it was a really notable quote, times are gone for honest men and sometimes far too long for snakes. Um, he was actually questioned about that and you can read about that um, online as well. But I thought, I thought that that, I felt like that quote in particular was pretty meaningful and if you like sit down and think about it and just what he might have meant by it, um, it's it still has relevance even today, um, even though this video is from the 90s or the song is from the 90s, I should say. So um, I just left that in there. It, it can be turned into a tag. Um, it's textured or put it somewhere and make it a pocket. So this is another pocket here, and then there's another pocket here. Um, I love this little cow paper because uh, it's like it feels really soft, but I love the texture of it. It's like so buttery or something. But I put this in because in the video there's a little cow that um, is being fed some milk, so a little baby cow. So I thought that was kind of cute. And then this page, um, I thought I found these two little elements in my stash, and I was like, ah, oh, this is perfect because the bottom part, I don't know if you can see, it's a speaker, and the top part there are flowers. So sound garden <laughs> so i thought that was kind of neat so um and then it's just coffee stained on the back some pruning uh uh it's some old uh sunset garden paper and i put that in and i put the gardening papers in because there's a lot of like gardening manicuring and pruning going on in the video so i thought those are pretty fitting and then here's one of those like happy families <laughs> And then on the back, there's a little journaling area there and then a little scrap stack of papers here. And then on this little page, it's talking about mini gardens. Um, so I thought that was pretty fitting also for the group. Um, this is just a little paint chip and I backed it on coffee paper. I use those stickers to spell out sun here. There's another happy family. <laughs> and, and this one was kind of funny because everyone in the family is so happy except her. <laughs> like, she's like, we're, we're not this. We're not like this. Stop it. <laughs> so I thought that was kind of funny. So in this little bag, um, there's a little piece here. It could be used as a pocket or something, but it's got a lot of words on here that remind me of Chris. So I wanted to throw those in along with another floral tag. So here are some more flowers here, and then I just added in this little piece to add to the surrealism of the book. Um, I think it was pretty fun to make this like really wacky, whimsical kind of, you know, no, no rhyme, but definitely reason style book. <laughs> so there's some stamping there. I added this poem in, or this actually, this whole page, there's poems on both sides, but I thought both of these poems were pretty fitting for this book, so I wanted those to be able to go to go in there to be read. Um, in the video, there is a, a Barbie doll that goes onto the, the grill, so <laughs> I thought it was kind of neat to add in the little doll, and there's a Hermelinda tag, so she's just a little tuck spot, and it's just stitched. So I use this little popcorn bag here. And I just cut this up and it's, as you've seen, it's been used a couple of times in here, but I turned it into one of the pages. And then in the video, there is a beekeeper and some bees. So um, I wanted to add in that little bee there. There's another pair of lips. So here's some more of my crazy stitching. Uh, I mean, <laughs> here's some more of my crazy doodling. And it does say something, but I will leave it to... Uh, the new recipient uh, of the book to figure that out. And it is lyrics from the song, obviously, of course. And then here's some more of those uh, beautiful, be beautifully dressed people. 
So here, um, another lyric from the song. This piece of the bag pulls all the way out, so there's more writing there, as you can see. Some more uh, surrealistic elements. <laughs> so this is a little music magnet that I got from uh, Kim, and this whole piece can actually flip open, but for the sake of time, I'm just gonna pull out this. It's another one of those little pockety thingies. She's a tuck spot also, and this is just a little tag that can be written on. And then something can also be tucked uh, behind this piece as well. Another little tag. So here's the bottom part of that popcorn bag. And <laughs> There are some little like pocket areas here on the front that can be used, but on the inside, as you can see with all the different folds that are in this bag, I've just took advantage and made a bunch of tiny tags <laughs> to go in there in all the different little pocket areas. And then there's just some journaling space in here. And then in the back, same thing, there's a tag tucked up there and then just some more little writing spots there. So this piece here, I thought it was kind of interesting because I found it um, in a magazine and I was like, oh, it looks kind of like, you know, this is her face and oh, what if the, it's obviously a mask, but what if this was going to like become her new face? And so in the video, there is a lady who's in a pink like bikini like this um, sunbathing. And so I was like, oh, what if, what if this would be like her face? <laughs> so I thought that that was kind of neat just to have her um, kind of in there like that. Some more flowers. These are just some more magazine pieces. That's, those are actually goldfish that they <laughs> put like in a plant form. Some more ice cream. more of that surrealism. There's a little, uh, Quaker oatmeal tag that I put in here. And then we've got more lips over here. And then again here it's talking about landscaping because that's what they're all doing. There's another little pocket here. <laughs> I think it's kind of funny that the hydroponics page is in here too with this crazy book. <laughs> this is an eyeball here. And then I just put this little tag in here, stitched on, and so that tucks under here. The other piece of that little cow page, little bias tape piece that I've added in, and some more flowers. So here at the back of the book, we have the man himself. And I just did sort of like a little uh, snippet kind of uh, frame around him. Here's my stamp. And as you can see, I've just left it plain with that velvet. Um, the idea about leaving him uh, out uh, floating, you can still leave him there if you want to leave it in the book. It can be written on in the back. Um, but the idea was that this could also double as a cover. So if you wanted to, you could make this the new cover and you could actually, you could cut this elastic and you can just add some chain and use this as a necklace as it kind of was intended. Or you can just keep this as the closure and then you can just keep uh, Chris in the book. So this is, this is it. This is my music vault, Black Hole Sun, uh, May video. I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you do, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, have you heard the song before? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, yeah, tell me what you think. Have you had surreal uh, vi uh, dreams before? <laughs> if you have, let's talk about them in the comment section below. So I think I've ta I've gone over everything that I can think of. If I've forgotten anything, I'll add it to the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and go. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, to the loo.